Hello reading friends, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video of six where we beat together this little mouse. Last week we beaded the face of the mouse and in the week before this I told everything about the structure of this tutorial and the materials that you will need. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to this tutorial, I will link the playlist where you will find all the previous videos and also following videos. If you already uh, beaded the um, face with me last week, uh, then uh, we can uh, start beating the hat and the ears. Let's do it! We beat our hat with two contrasting colors. We begin by picking up three beads, putting the needle through the beads again and making a tight knot. Then we add two light beads and put the needle through the second bead on the first row. Then we take one dark bead and one light bead and take it through the third bead of the first row. And then we add one light and one dark bead and go through the first bead of the first row and through the first bead of the second row. So we beat like we already did it with the face. It is the same technique. We beat a triangle, we add at the ends two beads and one bead at a time at the sides. But this pattern is new. It is rather simple, but you may need some time to get used to it. At the end, you will have a triangle that consists of three small triangles. One in the light color on the downside of the triangle and two dark triangles that are separated by a light line. As usual, if you are not sure about the pattern, you can always pause the video or slow it down so you can see exactly where my needle goes and what beads I add. At the end of each row I show you the result and you can pause the video at this moment to compare it to your beaded piece. Now pay close attention. Once you have six beads in the row, six dark beads, the next row you beat entirely out of light beads. And once this row is finished, you go with the needle through the next bead at the end without adding the two beads at the end of the triangle and you beat one side of the triangle with light beads. This will be the row in between that will help us adding the different parts of the hat. We need the triangle with this pattern three times. So repeat the process until you have three of them and then you can beat them together like this. Once the first two parts are beaded together, you need to get the needle through the beads to the next side or like to the side, to the other side of one of the parts to beat this part together with the third part of the hat. Once you've finished beating the two parts together, add one bead at the downside of the hat and then make a tight knot with the end of the nylon thread that is there. And now beat together the first and the third part of the hat. The ends of the nylon threads may be at a different position than I am showing you. If you want to make knots so that the thread won't keep you from working as fast as you want, uh, you can simply pull the thread through the bead to the next thread with your needle and then make a knot. Now I am closing the gap between the three parts at the upper side of the hat. And once I did this, 
I pull my needle to the downside of the head. I add one light bead where the row in between the two parts are. Then I lead the needle to the next row in between two parts and I add another bead there as well. Now we are beading in a circle at the downside of the head. And we keep beading this row with dark beads. Once we all finish this row, it is time to sew together the head and the face of the mouse. The head should look something like this. Now, in order to sew the, the face and the head together, we need to add three beads, one at a time, in between the three parts of the face like I do here. Once you are ready, you will see where exactly to beat the head and the face together. You can also add the beads between the parts, as I show here, while beading the hat and the face together. When you reach the third side of the face and the head, don't beat them together completely. Leave a little gap through which you are able to fill the head of the mouse with wool or any other material that you have chosen. If you are using wool like I do, you can pull the wool together like I show you to make the filling a little bit tighter. But don't put too much pressure on the threads and the beads. Make sure that the nylon thread won't rip apart. The hat should feel rather tight, but still be a little bit soft. Once you're content with the filling, you can beat the hat and the face together until the end of the row. Then we will beat the hat further. We always add one dark bead in between the dark beads of the hat. Pay attention at the parts where we beat it together the three parts of the head, we add two beads at a time. So at the three ends, we will add two beads at a time. At the sides, we add one bead at a time. In the next row, add one bead in between the two beads at the ends. This is how you add the bead number in peyote sti stitch.
Now you don't have to pay attention to any pattern. You just beat with the dark colors. Once you finish the third row, you can start the fourth one. Again, nothing fancy here, just adding one bead at a time. Also at the three ends. We beat the fifth row. And in the fifth row again, we add two beads at the ends at a time and one bead at a time at the side of the triangles. The next row you beat with light beads and at the ends you add one bead between the two added beads of the previous row. Once this row is finished, you can pull the thread down to the hat, like to the light part of the hat. In the next step, we will beat the ears for our little mouse. For this, we will need the shadow color Again, starting with three beads, pulling the needle through the beads again, making a tight knot. Then we add one bead and pull the needle, needle through the second bead of the first row. And then we add another bead, one bead, and pull it through the third bead of the first row. We bead ha like half of a circle. And now it is very important that you pay close attention to the pattern. Again, here you can pause the video, you can slow it down to make sure that your pattern is correct. The shadow beads, the shadow color, form a little circle that we encircle with light beads. Once you count six beads that stand out of the row, you beat four rows without adding two beads at a time. The fourth row will consist of five beads that stand out of the row. You add one bead in the next row, go through two beads of the previous row and add one bead again. Then you go through two beads of the previous row again and add another bead. We basically beat half of the circle again but in reversed order. Just follow the steps that I show you on the video to make sure that you know where the needle should go and whether you need to add any beads or simply go through the beads without any new beads. Once the pattern is done, Pull the thread with the needle through the beads to the other end of the thread and secure the thread by making a tight knot. And then repeat all the previous steps to beat a second ear for the mouse. If the threads on the ears are long enough for you to sew them to the head, you can make a knot at the loose thread that we still have at the hat 
If the threads at the ears are not long enough, you can use this loose thread to sew the ears to the hat. If you want to secure the loose thread with a knot, you can also put the thread through the filling material. It will secure the thread even more. To make sure that the ears are symmetrical, you can count down the beads from the middle of the hat or middle of the face. I counted four blue beads that stand out and I bead the upper part of the ear to this fourth bead. Then I go with my needle through one bead from the hat and then through the beads of the ear, sewing the ear to the hat, just like I show you in the video. Sometimes it can be a rather tricky process, so you can work at first with rather loose threads, but at the end make sure that the ear is properly connected to the hat and once you are content with the result you can make a tight knot, go with the thread ends through the, your needle, pull them with the needle through the filling material. If it is rather hard to pull with the fingers use um, some helping material like I do and then cut off the thread on the other side. Of course we need the second ear adjusted to the hat as well. When the second ear is beaded together with the hat, you can make a tight knot and hide the knot by pulling the threads through the filling material to the other side and cutting the threads off. Now the hat is finished! How is it going? How does your mouse look like? To be honest, this is the hardest part. So um, if you already have your beaded mouse head, then be sure that all the other parts will be much easier. And you already know the technique. If you have any questions, if something was not clear, please let me know. I will um, get back to you as soon as I can and answer all of your questions. I'm really looking forward to see the process of yours. I'm really excited to see the colors that you chose for your beaded mouse. So please, please share um, photos of the process um, with me via email or social media. Don't forget to tag me if you post um, the process in um, the posts or in stories so I can see it immediately and reshare it. If you can join me beating this mouse right away and you will be finished by middle of November, you can send me a photo of your finished mouse and then you can take part in the um, giveaway that I'm making. So this will be like a starter kit for beaters. If you don't have access to these materials, of course this is like the best option to beat the mouse with the materials that you have available and to um, receive as this giveaway um, like um, professional beading materials, you know what I mean? So basically I already have the filling material, the nylon thread, very thin, uh, 0 0.15 or 15, how do you say? and um, German beading needles so that you will have um, 
different needles at hand for working with different beads and different thread. I'm waiting for my um, delivery of beads. These really, really practical bead eyes for teddy bears. I will also put them in the starter kit and the hairy wire will also be there. I'm looking forward to see you next week. Um, until then, have a nice time. We'll see each other next Tuesday. Bye!